In the vast darkness of space, a brilliant red star on Orion's shoulder is creating waves of curiosity and excitement among scientists and stargazers alike. This glowing giant, known as Betelgeuse, has started to behave in unusual and fascinating ways. Over the past few years, its brightness has been fluctuating, drawing attention from observers around the world. This dramatic change in luminosity has sparked speculation that Betelgeuse might be nearing the final and most explosive phase of its life, a supernova. A supernova is a powerful and rare stellar explosion that releases an enormous amount of energy, briefly outshining entire galaxies. Betelgeuse, being only about 650 light-years away, is relatively close in cosmic terms, making it one of the most observed and studied stars in the sky. Because of its size, color, and variability, Betelgeuse has always stood out, even to the casual eye, often recognized as the bright red point on Orion's shoulder. What makes this even more thrilling is that if Betelgeuse were to go supernova, it could become visible in the daytime sky for weeks, casting shadows at night, a sight not seen by humans in modern history. That's how enormous and powerful this event would be. Astronomers around the world have their telescopes aimed and sensors ready, monitoring every flicker and flare from this celestial titan. The fluctuations in Betelgeuse's brightness are nothing new, after all, it's a variable star, meaning its brightness naturally shifts over time. But what caught everyone's attention was an event that started in late 2019, when Betelgeuse dimmed so significantly that it became a ghost of its usual self. Dubbed the Great Dimming, this event puzzled scientists and led to an explosion of new research and observations. Initially, some thought the dimming was a sign of an impending supernova, but later research revealed that Betelgeuse had ejected a massive cloud of gas and dust, which temporarily blocked its light. This was a rare and remarkable event in the study of dying stars. According to Dr. Andrea Dupree, an astrophysicist at the Harvard-Smithsonian Center for Astrophysics, this ejection was like the star, burping, out a large part of its surface, something never seen before in real time. Since that event, Betelgeuse has become even brighter than before, reaching 142% of its usual brightness by May 20, 2023. This sudden brightening startled scientists again, leading to theories about what was really happening inside this cosmic furnace. Astrophysicist Andrea Dre confirmed that Betelgeuse had become the seventh brightest star in the sky, climbing from its previous 10th place ranking. For astronomers and space enthusiasts, this is a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. Betelgeuse's activity is providing a real-time look at the death throes of a red supergiant, a process that's usually hidden behind millions of light years and the slow passage of time. What makes Betelgeuse special is that its proximity allows scientists to study the final stages of a star's life close up, almost like watching a movie in slow motion. Peter Breyer, a theoretical physicist, noted, we are witnessing phenomena that are both terrifying and beautiful. These events help us understand what happens before a star dies. Despite the mystery, scientists agree on one thing. Betelgeuse is approaching its end, but nobody knows exactly when that spectacular end will arrive. Inside the star, fusion reactions are still occurring. Betelgeuse is likely still fusing helium into carbon and oxygen, a process that creates the heavy elements necessary for life. This fusion process is like the ticking of a clock. Eventually, the star will start producing iron in its core, and when that happens, gravity will win, causing the core to collapse and trigger the supernova explosion. But that moment has not arrived yet. According to scientists at UC Berkeley and Harvard, it might take another 5 to 10 years for Betelgeuse to stabilize or explode. They warn that we simply don't have enough precedent to predict the timing with accuracy. As astrophysicist Peter Breyer says, we've only observed a handful of supernovas in real time. There's so much we don't know. The unpredictability of Betelgeuse is part of what makes it so exciting. For the first time, we can observe a red supergiant in action, capturing data that could help predict future stellar deaths. Students and researchers across the globe are poring over data, writing papers, and submitting telescope proposals to keep their eyes on the star. One of the reasons Betelgeuse has fascinated so many is its sheer size. If it were placed where our Sun currently sits, its surface would extend past Jupiter's orbit, swallowing Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, and the asteroid belt. 
It's a massive beast, with a diameter about 764 times that of the sun. That kind of scale is hard to grasp, but it makes Betelgeuse one of the largest and most massive stars that we can observe without a telescope. Adding to the drama, scientists have discovered that Betelgeuse's pulsation cycle has changed. It used to pulsate every 400 days, but now that cycle has shrunk to 130 days. This sudden change suggests that major structural shifts are happening deep inside the star. It's as if Betelgeuse is speeding up, reaching for its final breath in the cosmic theater. The interest isn't limited to just professional astronomers. Amateur stargazers have been joining the hunt, with communities like Betelbot sharing updates, photos, and brightness data in real time. Some enthusiasts have even built home observatories specifically to monitor the star, hoping to catch a once in 10,000 years event. According to Dr. Emily Levesque, a stellar evolution expert, Betelgeuse is our best nearby laboratory for understanding how massive stars live and die. Every time it changes, we learn something new. She adds that even though it may not explode in the next few years, we're getting front row seats to the most spectacular act in stellar life. Interestingly, some cultures and ancient civilizations considered Betelgeuse to be a symbol of power or danger. The ancient Greeks noticed its red hue, and the indigenous peoples of Australia referred to it as part of their sky lore. It has been a fixture in mythologies around the world for thousands of years. As exciting as the supernova might be, scientists emphasize that Earth is safe from any harmful effects. Because it's hundreds of light years away, the radiation won't reach us in dangerous amounts. Subscribe to our channel and thanks for watching.